Today, we are taking you behind the scenes for something we've never shown you before. It's golden hour photos on a wedding day. The reason we've never showed you this before is because it's hard to get on a wedding day. Like there's a lot happening. It's hard to even get behind the scenes on a wedding day, let alone like this portion of the day where it's kind of sometimes like, oh, we gotta sneak out really fast. Oh, the sun is really setting. We might have to adjust the timeline. We might have to go before first dances or we might have to go after or, you know, just like all kinds of stuff. And so we whisked this couple away, went out for golden hour photos, did a little tour around their venue and then pop them right back in the reception. They went right into their first dance. So today we are showing you Annie and Michael's golden hour photos. So again, our golden hour photos might be at different times of the day. We are just going out when the sun is setting. Typically we go out um, about 45 minutes beforehand and we'll go out for typically like 20 ish minutes. We budget a half hour into the timeline and that is literally just to give cushion for things running later or having to pull them out earlier. And we might pull them out at cocktail hour. Actually, sometimes in the winter in Minnesota, the sun sets so early that they might go out for like a quick 15 minute chunk pre-ceremony, which is a little wonky, not necessarily ideal. We'll kind of try to avoid that. But most of the time during cocktail hour, that is when it is happening and that's when it's really, really fun. I love that timing. Um, Later sunsets, it might be after they've eaten dinner while their guests are finishing up. It might be after toasts, before the dance floor opens up as like those space is being cleared for the dance floor or just like as dessert is being served. Or it might be once the dance floor is opened up, things, people start mingling and then we sneak them out quickly. So there's a lot of different ways that it might look for us. That is just based on the timeline. If you wanna see more about how we put together our timelines, like the whys behind all of those different times and different chunks that it might fall and why we think they're ideal, I have a video showing how we put together our timelines and actually how we use our tool called the Timeline Wizard that technically puts it together for us. So go check that out. I'll link that up above. Do you ever feel anxiety every single time that you had to a shoot? Constantly. Are you stuck in a posing rut, not sure what to do? Yes. <laughs> We've got you covered. We have a totally free training all on posing that we would love to have you join for. Join us in your PJs with your camera off for our hour long posing training. We can't wait to see you. Go save your seat in the link in the description down below. Bye. Okay, so Annie and Michael, the couple that you're gonna be able to see is just an amazing couple. They have so much chemistry, so it's gonna be extra fun to see just from like the watching viewpoint, not even the you're a photographer wanting to see what we do. But we're gonna completely pull back the curtain and show you a whole bunch. We're gonna show you our four poses that are our go-tos for sunset. And the reason why we would do them at sunset versus like any a time earlier in the day is a couple different constraints. Number one, at this point, if there is a bride or someone wearing a dress, it's going to be bustled, which is gonna allow them to be able to move around so much easier. It's gonna allow them to be able to be picked up freely. It's gonna allow them just to like feel mentally released too of like, oh, I'm not worrying about my train, it's getting caught, all those kind of things. So it won't get caught, but also like, oh, I feel like way less constrained. The second thing is at this time in the day, couples typically feel a lot more free, a lot more excited, a lot more joyful. It's not earlier on in the day where there might be a little nervousness, there might be a little tension, there might be a little like, oh my gosh, guests are coming, is this gonna all come together, is this gonna be fun? I'm nervous for my vows in the ceremony, I'm nervous for toast, you know, like all of these things. At this point in the day, they are typically feeling that newlywed bliss. Maybe they're freshly married at cocktail hour or maybe like toasts have set in. Maybe they've had one drink and they're feeling it. Like they get a little champagne buzz going and that is great. So um, some of these prompts are gonna be like really joyful. Some of these are gonna be the lifts that we wouldn't do earlier in the day typically unless they have the capability. Um, the other thing is if there is a groom or someone wearing like a suit, a suit jacket, at this point in the day, we'll typically keep it unbuttoned for a lot of this session. Um, um, whereas early in the day we'll do button, we'll have more of a structured look. And so now with an unbutton, they can lift um, or they might not bring out their jacket. We'll kind of ask them if they've taken it off and they're just enjoying the reception, like maybe they're on the dance floor already. We won't force them to wear their jacket. It can be completely up to them, obviously, as with everything is in the day. Um, so sometimes they might come out with just like their dress shirt on or something like that. So again, everything's just a little bit freer. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's jump into our four go-tos. Hold one hand in the middle there. Let's do a light jog towards cam. Light, but it's so bouncy, it's so giggly. Like a ta -ha 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 -ha, the whole way. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, y'all. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's so nice. That's, that's good. Take us away. Keep going on our loop. We're gonna make you a little loop on the property Perfect. so that you can finish checking out everyone at the reception. Yeah. 
Will you do the same thing you were just doing, like, oh, we're yeah. strutting? It's yeah. like happy, go lucky, walking down. Walk towards me, and then I'm gonna jump to the other side of you. You guys just keep walking towards that big tree. All right, whenever you're ready. That's perfect. Yeah, that's right. nice. Continue Reverse. On. They're just gonna keep going. Yeah, y'all keep enjoying. Oh, no, that's not bad. Yeah. Where's that tree sticking? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I think, can you face belly buttons in towards each other? Will you, Michael, pick her up just like a little baby butt shelf underneath her booty? Yeah, we do a little pop over up there. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. That's it. Oh, pretty. I love it. You got it? Good. Do you want to pop the foot? Yeah, do one pop foot there, Annie. Like a little doop. Oh, there finish her kiss there. Yeah. Gorgeous. Pretty. I love it. That's beautiful. I think you guys, will you face that way? Yeah. Wrap arms around each other. Just around the waist. Like, oh, we're chilling. We're snuggled up. Just like, take a second. Soak it all in. Enjoy for a little before you. Oh, you're good. You're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Start making your way back in there. Okay. At some point, they'll all holler at you and just like throw hands in the air, like dance it all out. But you guys can go that way. Yeah. And then you're good, right, Brad, if they finish like that? Okay, oh, yeah. perfect. Okay, go ahead, y'all. Walk it on out. Do, 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 do. I think probably now it's. Okay, go ahead, you guys. Celebrate, excited. Woo! <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. There it is. What's that? You did it. That's it. Okay, what did you think of that footage? We love bringing you behind the scenes footage, but obviously this one was a little trickier to get. Shout out to our girl Shelby who filmed this for us, who was on site with us for Annie and Michael's wedding day. This one was tricky, so we hope it was so worth it. Now, obviously we were out for more than just those poses. You know, I was saying maybe 15, 20 minutes would be standard. We did a little tour around their venue. So I do have more footage. If you wanna see that, drop a comment down below and we can probably release like that full behind the scenes section, all the rest of Sunset Photos so you can see how we handle everything, where we take them, how we kind of make that circle around the venue. Side note, the reason I keep mentioning that is because we wanna make sure that we highlight everything that there is in their venue that they might like. So like we have some footage of them on a swing set, that was in a harsh sun earlier in the day, it wouldn't make sense, but it might be something that they booked the venue for. And we know this too from data points and like their questionnaire and stuff, but also just like, oh my gosh, you walk in, you see a two and you see a swing set and you're like, oh, that is so cute, I love that. Not a swing set, sorry, it's literally like one swing like attached to a tree. Swing set is like a children's swing set, okay, ignore that. Um, but we wanna make sure that we kind of get that full holistic view of the venue for them. So that's why I keep mentioning that. But if you're interested, drop that down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and until next time, bye! bye.